lads lasses and the rest of the masses welcome back to the channel i'm mono from mono cfc and these are five things maurizio pochettino needs to achieve in pre-season number one establish the squad pre-season starts in just over two weeks with chelsea's tour of the usa starting on the east coast with a game against wrexham in north carolina at the keenan stadium on the 19th of july Maurizio Pochettino starts his tenure at the club on the 1st of July, and one of the first things I believe he needs to do is establish his squad for the season. What do I mean by this? I mean he needs to quickly and efficiently decide who has a future here, who doesn't, and who is on the cusp of entering the first 11. The faster he is able to do this, the more time he will have to implement his ideas, bring the squad together, and get them singing from the same hymn sheet for next season. Pochettino is notorious for demanding respect from his players, snuffing out any egos that are too big for a team sport, and getting the players to play for each other as well as him, and not for themselves. I think a lot of these egos have already been booted out of the club, there are far too many for me to list here, but there is still more to go and I think he'll be right on top of that. The Argentine has an entire month between now and the start of the season, with 5 games in total on this tour of the US in between, and I think that is more than enough time for him to settle on a core group of players and let the higher ups know who is here to stay and who is surplus to requirements. Doing this would allow this mass exodus of players that has been a key part of this new project to continue, with the squad still needing trimming despite the large amount of outgoings. Along with this, he'd be able to inform the recruitment team of any players that he feels he still needs to complete this squad, and we can look to bring them in as well as give Pochettino all the tools that he needs in order to start getting this lacklustre team competing again next season. Number 2. Integrate the youth. Not only does Poch need to decide on players from the first team, but he also needs to evaluate players from the youth team that are up and coming and test if they are ready to step up or not. I want our youth players to be given a fair shake and enough game time to show him what they can bring to the table. Specifically, I want Andre Santos, Cesare Casade, Gargas Lanina and Amari Hutchinson to get a large amount of minutes, as these are the main four that I believe are indeed ready to play a part in the team next season. Out of the five games we play on this preseason tour, two of them are against slightly lesser teams, and I don't see any reason as to why these four can't get a substantial amount of minutes against the aforementioned Wrexham or Fulham, for example. There's even the final game against Borussia Dortmund, which I believe could be used, considering we beat them over two legs last season when we were utterly below par. For that game in particular, I would love to see Gargas Lanina get the chance to play, as it's set to go ahead in the Soldier Field in Chicago, Illinois, where he has previously made a name for himself starting for the Chicago Fire. The young American would likely love the chance to play in his birth state in front of his friends and family, with this also being a sneakily good bit of promotional business for that friendly too. Hopefully these young stars can get a chance to prove themselves, and we'll get to see how they get on in the future, sooner rather than later. Before we continue, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel. Still around 94% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Number 3. Improve Fitness I've spoken about this in the past, but one of the things which Poch really needs to do is up the fitness levels of this group of players. His style is a very hard-working, high-pressing one, with the players being required to put in monumental shifts every match. This is incredibly demanding, and the team in its current state are not going to be able to do this successfully. Poch will, from the get-go, have to grind these players until they are able to fulfil his high demands, and he should be set to do so from the start of his tenure if reports are to be believed. He starts his work at Cobham on the 1st as mentioned previously, and will likely be immediately getting to work on certain areas, fitness being a main one. He'll likely do this by introducing the players to a training exercise I have alluded to in the past, the Gacken Test. A very high intensity intermittent aerobic capacity test in which the players have to complete a large number of sprints consecutively in an allotted time, with very little time to rest, and the distance of each sprint increasing each time. Usually, this is 45 seconds of sprinting over 125 meters, with the remaining 15 seconds of the minute for rest. The distance will then increase by 6.25 meters, and the process continues until the players can no longer complete the distance in the allotted 45 seconds. This is an incredibly gruelling test that not only challenges the players' fitness levels, but also their willpower, drive, and fight. 
If any of you have ever done the fitness gram pacer test, or the bleep test as it was known over here in England in school, I know I did, you know that it is horrible to get through. This is like a supercharged version of that, so we can only imagine how awful it must feel to do. But it has incredible benefits, and players that have done this regime under Poch in the past have mentioned that quote, by the end of Sunday, you know that it was all worth it. Teams in the Premier League are adapting now to these high energy systems and we will need to get the most out of our players in order to compete next season. Number 4. Implement his style. The objective of getting those fitness levels up is so that Pochettino can implement that previously mentioned high pressing style. During pre-season, and especially during games, I would like to see his ideas clearly. I want to see how we line up, which players we use, how those players function in game, how we press, create chances, defend, set up at set plays, etc. We need to get the players used to the system as quickly as possible so they get a lot of time and experience with it before the season starts. Whether this is Poch's 4-2-3-1, which I've done a breakdown of in the video at the top of your screen right now, his 4-3-3, which I'll be doing a deep dive on in the near future, or some other formation, it's important that we start as we mean to go on. Not only that, but this allows the new signings to integrate slash acclimatise quickly, and for partnerships old and new to form slash grow. A lot of our issues from last season were down to some players not having a high level of understanding of each other and how they play. We didn't feel like a cohesive team at any point, much more like a bunch of talents all thrown together in a smorgasbord on the pitch. Poch's systems are usually not only high energy, but high volume. They are very forward thinking and take a lot more risks offensively. Be that through direct passing or direct dribbling, Poch's teams aren't as willing to just recycle possession over and over, something our current squad is all too used to doing under Tuchel and Potter in recent times. This new style will be a bit of a culture shock, and the players will need to get out of bad habits in order to play this new brand of football. I for one personally hope that we can start to see this togetherness on the pitch in pre-season, and have some exciting football to look forward to going into the 23-24 season. And number 5. Get results. This may sound a bit odd considering it's quote only pre-season, but I believe that winning our games in pre-season sets us up nicely to carry that momentum into the season upcoming. Confidence is an incredibly powerful thing in football, and it cannot be understated how important it is to get off to a good start in the league. Apart from Newcastle, all of the teams that we play during pre-season are very winnable games, and I expect to see results, despite people often believing that pre-season is only for fitness. Wins in these games give the players a sense of achievement, they'll get the sense that there are things to win this season and not bring a deflated, defeatist attitude into the team, as well as making them believe in the manager and his ideas. It's no secret that a lot of the players didn't really believe that Graham Potter's ideas were working, especially in comparison to Thomas Tuchel's, and I think that was a major reason as to why a lot of the players just gave up. Take a look at Arsenal from last year. They won every single preseason game bar one against Brentford, which they rested a lot of their first team for, with their final game being a 6 0 thrashing of Sevilla. That form from preseason continued into the start of the season, with them gaining five straight wins until they lost their first to an inform Manchester United. They then went on to lead the Premier League for almost the entire season, with that confidence from preseason carrying them ever upward. I hope that we can do a similar thing and get a good set of results in preseason, and then at the start of the league games get some results too. But those are just a few things that I think Pochettino needs to achieve in preseason, and that was my list. Let me know what you think we need to achieve in preseason in the comment section below, and if you'd be so kind, subscribe to the channel and leave the video a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. I bring Mono from Mono CFC, and remember, in the rain or in the dry, keep that blue flag flying high. Come on, you blues.